All right, what's going on, dudes? Welcome back to another episode of Ultra Modded Survival, dude. The rain, the rain just stopped in time for me to start an episode. Like it literally just stopped a few seconds ago. That never happens. It always starts just as I'm about to start an episode. But it just cleared up, and it's about to be a nice sunset from our new little location here. You're probably wondering where I'm actually located. Well, it has familiar surroundings, but what is this this new room with all the Ars Magica and Thumbcraft stuff in it? Well, since we last left off, I did a live stream. I can't really link a replay because OBS, which is the software I use to, uh, to do the live stream, it was sort of failing on me over and over, so the live stream got split into a million different pieces, and unfortunately, I just I ended up having to, to wrap it because it just wasn't working. But uh, I was able to sort of make this room and make a, a staircase up to this room. And then pre-live stream, I also sort of replaced all the flooring and uh, and also took down a wall here. I, I replaced it with uh, some wood just so we'd have a nice wood floor as opposed to, you know, it was kind of, it was getting a little bit hard on my feet walking around on, on the stone. And I didn't want to go and get insoles or shoes or anything, so I just figured I would go and, and replace it with wood. And then that way it'd be a little bit softer on our feet. And then I also sealed off the area where the R's Magic stuff was previously because I have the new area for it which is pretty cool I think it has a nice like 270 degree view of, of things and then wood going on down into the portal then on back over into uh, into here and I think I I, I set up the uh, the the boost speed on my leggings I think to be possibly a little bit obnoxiously high so I'm gonna just take that down a notch and also use up less power that way so Oh no, I'm all out of corn dogs, man. That's a bummer. What am I gonna do without my corn dogs? So anyway, did a little bit of beautification last time around. Put some quartz little little touches in. Oh, and then oh, totally totally forgot to mention that. Um, yeah, I went and uh, <laughs> yeah. So I I well, I'm not proud, but I kind of just used cobblestone slabs for uh, for the the trim out here. And, uh, but I did replace the deck with, uh, with stone slabs, which works just fine. And then there's cobblestone out, out back here as well. So, you know what? You know what? Cobblestone, it worked, man. It, that was like the only thing I could find that it went along with what was currently there. It didn't look too different. Yes, I, I could have forged microblocked the, uh, the, the road. In fact, I did. I, um, what was it? If I search for road, in fact, I did forge microblock it, but, uh, I, I decided, I guess it's also called a notch. Haha, <laughs> it's funny because <laughs> Notch made the game, you get it. Um, so I, I tried putting that, but it was too uniform with the rest of the uh, like the stone brick pattern. So I was like, eh, I don't know about that. And when I, <laughs> I went with cobblestone. Well, I went with cobblestone, and it's going to be what it's going to be. It's cobblestone trim because the, the ramparts were already made of cobblestone anyway. And then I was like, you yeah, know, let's just expand up higher up the mountain because I, I realized it's got this whole sheer face that we can take advantage of. And then I made this whole staircase, and then I got up here, and I was like, oh, we must be, like, really high above the ground now. Lo and behold, we're at just about eye level with, uh, with the ramparts. So if we go back outside, there's actually, like, a ton of space above us that we can keep going up and up and up. And I'm probably instead going to use actual stair blocks instead of combining the, uh, the slabs with the, the blocks because then it just, you know, it... Yeah, so anyway, we're pretty low down. We have a lot more space to uh, expand upwards, but that means we can, we're gonna have, uh, I don't know, like the, the penthouse up at the top, and then we can overlook everything, and it'll be swell and stuff. But anyway, since we last left off, we still have our, our golem buddy here. He, he still looks kind of sad, so I think we need to do something about that. And in order to do something about that, we have to research Nighthor, and then we have to get the... The animation core thing, and uh, I don't know if I'm successfully going to get all the uh, all the aspects I need to to make that core animation thing, whatever it's called. But we can at least try to research Nightwork. So let's go Thamanamanamanamanicon and Thamaturd uh, Alchemy. It was Alchemy, right? Yep, Nightwork. All right, give me that research note and let us. Put that in the uh, in the research table. Now, I happen to have a lovely, fantastic resource over on my other monitor where what I can do is, because I still don't understand, I can select one, as one uh, aspect that is on the left, which happens to be Lux, I believe. And then I can select the other one, which is 
Uh, whatever the fiery one is, probably just just fire. I don't remember the official name for it. Where is Ignis? Okay, and then what I can do is we have three steps in between. Boom, boom. Find that connection. So it goes Lux to Ignis to Je Ooh, to Jellum. Mm -hmm. So we need a we need an Ignis right there. And then we need, I don't know how I get Jellum. How I get Jellum? Do I have Jellum? I don't think I have Jellum, dude. Oh, huh. Well, but then, okay, so, but anyway, then we have a Lux, I guess, that goes like right, wait, 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 wait. Oh, no, 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 not, not yet. I, I put uh, too many steps, too many steps. It's two steps, not the way this thing works. Pardon me, I still need, I still need, no, I, don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> it, uh, oh, okay. I see. No, I see what I'm doing now. All right. So I have to, I have to get Jellum anyway. And Jellum, well, I'm going to have to do a little bit of, a little bit more digging online to figure out how I get Jellum. So give me one sec. We'll be right back. All right. So Jellum's easy. It's Aqua and Ordo. And then we got, we got us some, some Jellum. And then I can make some more if I want to, but that's okay. I'm not gonna keep using that stuff. All right, we got we got ourselves some jellum. So now I can take that jellum, and where do I wanna where do I wanna gel them with my jellum? Right there, I suppose. Oh, no, no, no. Oh no, that's not okay. Wait, no, come on, you gotta you gotta let me gel. Can I gel them right there? No, <gasps> it's wrong. Is it telling me incorrect information, or did I? I may have made a boo-boo. Oh, I was so, I was so confident. I was so, so confident. Although it doesn't make sense with Nightwear that there would be Jellum in there. So, hmm, we have a dilemma on our hands. I, hmm, boy, one sec. I'll be right back again. Okay, I think I found my mistake. Apparently it's directional. It depends, like where we're go we're going. So I guess we're going from Ignis to Lux, as opposed to the opposite. I still don't know for sure. Gonna test. Please work. It worked. Okay, that's a good sign. And then I need another right there. And then I need another Potentia. Oh boy, that is Night Tour. Oh man, okay, so it's directional. I just have to keep that in mind, but that is most definitely your boy. Okay, good, we got Night Tour so we can learn that up. So now we can make Night Tour, except now I have to go into my thumb, thumb of Monomicon and figure out what to put in there. Okay, we need Glowstones, Catalyst, uh, Ignis, Lux, and Potentia. Do I have all of the necessary stuff? I think I do. What does Glowstone have though? Glowstone, am I gonna run into the same issue with 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 this because I assume glowstone is going to have Lux in it, so therefore let's see glowstone. Um, let's grab a couple of pieces just so we can easily research them, like this. All right, let's just see what you, what, do you, what do you got in you? Whoa, didn't mean to didn't mean to do that. I was okay. Um, glowstone dust. Let's research you. So you have Lux. So you're just going to add to the total of the Lux and. Uh, hopefully let's not let's <laughs> let's not uh, discount this too soon okay so anyway that so we need uh, the glowstone we also need ignis and potential which I believe Cole will do just fine ignis and potential beautiful all right let's get a few of you and then I believe from that we will be able to make ourselves some night tour all right Let's give ourselves a reminder. It is three Ignis, three Lux, and three Potentia. So three, three, and three, which means I can put in two of those and actually three of each. That way we get the best. Yeah. Okay. So three, three. I hope this works. And I don't need to add like a different source of. Actually, I could get a torch maybe. If I use a torch, then it's one Lux. So let's do that. Let's use torches just so we... I don't want to run into the same issue we did with Alimentum. So um, anyway, what we can do is we can do one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we do one, two, three. And then we add glowstone. And then 
Huzzah! It worked, but I only got one. Was I only... No, I should have gotten two there. For I should have received... Oh, there's... Hold on. Do another. There we go. Okay. And that should have actually been a perfect use of our resources. Oh, now it's back to white bubbles. Dude. Like, that, that was... Yeah. At least common multiple. That's how we roll. And now it's back to just being the, the white blank bubbles. Cool. Getting, getting the hang of this. You know. Just... Doing doing my my best to uh, to make the thumb crafts work. All right, well that's good. Now, do I have any bricks? Um, bricks, bricks, bricks. I do. So, oh, I guess the next thing though. Why did I even run down here? I don't know. I ran down here. Here's where it gets interesting, and here's the part where I'm probably not going to be able to make it work. It's I need the arcane workbench, right? So grab the thermonomicon and go into golemancy. Go into here. And so I need, I have that in, okay, so I throw that in the crucible, right? So I can throw Ordo and Ignis in the crucible, but what has Ordo in it? Would arrows have Ordo in it? They most definitely do, right? Arrow, um, have I researched arrows? No, but if I remember correctly from Skyden, arrows have Ordo. Okay, let's research that up. You best have Ordo in you. I don't have all the knowledge. Dang it. All right. I have to I have to just figure out another item to research or one that I already have that has Ordo. Give me one sec. Okay, so I had a, I had a slight mental lapse and, and somehow thought Ordo corresponded to air when when air air corresponds to, to air. Ordo is order. So I guess a, a good source of, of Ordo for throwing it in the in the crucible, at least, is to have silverwood logs. And I, I don't actually have any. I haven't bothered to, to harvest a silverwood tree. I think I think they occur naturally throughout the world. It's the uh, the sort of whitish with blue leaf trees. So I'm, we're going to try to find one. Uh, but before we go and, and do that, I thought maybe we could wrap up the, uh, the beautification here because I do need to continue the stone bricks all the way into there. And also right here, just because I didn't do that earlier, and we have a ton of cobblestone, so it shouldn't be too difficult to do. And also, totally forgot to uh, to follow up on the the whole Eternal Isles um, mod thing. The Eternal Isles is the the mod again, uh, the new one by the guy who did Divine RPG. And I, I didn't realize last time that it's a mod for 1.7, and since we're still in 1.6. Without doing it like a huge overhaul, it's not really even even possible to uh, to add in at this point. So what I was thinking we could do is sort of go until like episode 100 with uh, with 1.6, the series as it as it currently stands, and then after episode 100, we can do like a big update to 1.7 and uh, carry most of the mods back over, keep the same world, uh, but add in I don't know. A couple new ones just to keep things you know reinvigorated and uh and interesting and i thought that uh, you know that could be a good way to go about doing it but as far as just doing a quick oh let me uh let me throw in eternal isles and uh keep things going it's uh i don't think that'll be possible simply because um it is a it's a 1.7 mod so um but at the same time you can feel free to let me know what you think as far as uh just going and, and uh, putting that in after episode 100, but I think that's like a good marker because this is going to be, what, episode 90 or so? So uh, 10 more episodes and then we'll, uh, we'll add some more variety into things and I think that, uh, that's probably not a bad call. Alright. Oh, I could actually go slabs here so I can conserve stone bricks. What am I doing? Let's go and do that real quick. Actually, I had a, I had a workbench up there. Forgot that I put it down, um, but anyway, let's do that and... Grab a few of you, just so we can conserve a bit. Yeah, I've been using the, uh, like, all this down here. This is all half slabs. I'm very proud of myself. I did something logical that uh, conserves resources, so we're using half the amount of wood, because this is all half slabs, except for, like, right around here, because obviously we can see through the transparency there, so I put some, like, regular ones around there, so you can see under the half slab, you know? Trying to optimize and aestheticize. I don't think that's a word, but but that's okay. Uh, <laughs> anyway, alrighty, here we go. I, I do realize I didn't have to. I actually used a full stone brick here when I could have just used slabs as well. So I didn't I didn't fully optimize. I'm embarrassed to say, but you know that's my style. Can't go full optimization because that would be too incongruous. I also didn't calculate exactly how many slabs I needed, but, uh, you know, we're good. 
All right, we'll we'll need them for something else in the future. Let me just double check and make sure that we're good in every other area as well. Oh, I need to I do need to put down more quartz, but I think I've sort of started running low on on quartz. Yeah, I kind of have. Um, well, what I can do is I can make more slabs if I want to. Yeah, let's let's make it look good. All right do that and that way we can put some down like right here for some reason the power fist does not work as an axe on slabs that's the uh, the one place that it doesn't seem to work and of course that's the one thing that I've made everything inside out of so uh, all right I've just put down you know quartz to signify like we're going into a different different location sort of so yeah I think it's it's a good like transition block yeah, sort of kind of I don't know this is just what I'm doing man Okay, so we'll do that. We'll need to go into the nether just to uh, acquire some more. I don't like it, dude. We'll have to add on like a patio up here at some point. But uh, it's uh, I feel like it's a nice place to be. Okay. Uh, but you know what? Someone did point out that I guess I passed a uh, one of those aura node things. It was back over by the obsidian little structure thing that has a chest in the middle, which is a thomcraft structure, which I guess it makes sense why there would be a, an aura node there because it is a thomcraft thing. So I don't know. I, I, I figured let's go back over there and look. Um, oh, I do need to make the thomcraft goggle things. So let me check because I, I think I might need to have those on in order to, to be able to actually see what it is okay so goggles of revealing i think that's what it runic goggles of revealing um yeah so goggles of revealing Ooh, they're probably made in like the arcane orc bench so we'll see if i can do this without them if i can't then well i will uh check up on the uh, the recipe for that actually I probably have to research them um but let's just see real quick okay so hey yeah that's an aura node i guess i totally bypassed it last time around um and, oh, hey, there we go. Aura node. All right, what kind of aura node is it? Sinister. Ooh. So very spooky. Okay, let's point directly at it. Um, oh, no. God dang it. I put my... <laughs> I left my wand back over here. Give me one second to go grab it. I'm just going to mine on in. Okay. And grab the wand. Actually, have we even... Sinister, is that even a thing we've gotten yet i don't think we have Ooh, it's a new one so very spooky and sinister oh my goodness all right well anyway so let's go back over now that we have our wand all right and let's look in the right spot boom and oh there we go we're getting it we're getting no zombie don't do it i'm trying to get sinister things to happen uh are we we're not fully ex oh seven i want more Give me all the sinister. Give it all to me. Wait, is it? Oh, wait. No, there's tons now. Oh, God. Why is there so much sinister? I don't want all the sinister. Oh, do I left click? I want... What am I doing? <laughs> uh, oh, God. There's too much sinister. Now it says like 100. I'm trying to absorb the sinister, but it's making it worse. Oh, God. Uh, have I messed up? I think I've messed up. I may have messed up. That's... Uh-oh. That's not good. I'm going to double check. Let me just double check real quickly. Because I thought you were supposed to absorb by right clicking. But maybe not. Uh oh. <laughs> so much so much sinister. It's probably going to take over the world or something. I don't like that. That doesn't seem like a good idea. One sec. Uh, so that's not good. Uh, yeah. You. So you're supposed to right click on a node in order to, to drain the node into your wand. But this doesn't seem to be working that maybe it's because it's like a bad node and it's evil and therefore it's getting worse and i think i just i may have messed up and uh and caused the evil to spread throughout the land and things are going to go poorly from this point forth and now i can, I can actually see the node uh could i see it before i wasn't paying that close attention but uh well that's not good. <laughs> Whoops. Hokey dokey. Well, uh, so that, and that dude had 60 health. I don't know if that was caused by the, okay. Um, so there was also that, there was that dungeon thing that we saw a while back. I'm trying to remember where it was located. I, I can't recall the specific coordinates of it, 
but there was a there was like a Thomcraft dungeon. I think it was over in this direction. I'm wondering if that has like a node in it, maybe as well. Um, could also be another bad node, which. Oh, by the way, there's a silverwood tree over there. Maybe I should grab that. Uh, next to some unloading chunks. There we go. Much better. Okay, why don't we uh, get ourselves some silverwood? Cool. That was easy enough. Oh, maybe there's an, a pure... Hey, there we go. Yeah, like, so silverwood generates good good energy and nodes and stuff. So let's check out... If we take this thing... I just don't want to, like, destroy it because it looks like this node is, like, right in the middle. Um... So let's be nice. Let's delicately kill the tree. <laughs> let's be very nice about how we. Oh, whoa! Wait, did I not want to do that? Oh no, I I killed the node. <gasps> Actually, I don't know if there was even a way around that. To be fair, so uh, well, I guess that was that happened, huh? Well, let's check out. What did I just get? Hold on, just a minute. I got a ethereal. Oh, I got okay. Huh. Interesting. So I can get pure essence. Interesting. Interesting. Well, let me just toss some stuff back in here. So we got we have silver wood. That was interesting how the the log just like exploded though. But anyway, now that it did, we do need this in order to get some ordo, right? Let's see if I can research it real quick here. All right. Let's see. Boom and Boom. Please understand. Yes! Okay, cool. Ordo and the magic wand one, which is Precantatio, I think. I remember names. <laughs> and then let's check out, can I find the dungeon? I just can't remember the exact location of it. It was somewhere near the edge of the, um, somewhere near the edge of the old alpha biome. Uh, let's see. It's like over here or something, wasn't it? Somewhere over here near the edge of the alpha biome, right? Um, no, maybe it was over in this direction. Had to be somewhere nearby over here. Let's see if I can find it. Come on. Come on. Use your memory. Right. It was right here. Right here. Yes. There we go. Okay. Let's see if we have a, a node inside of here. We can always go and try to find another uh, silverwood tree as well. So let me see. Okay. In here. Hey, is that a node? It, yeah, it looks like it. All right, cool. Or a node. Um, it's very, very sinister. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, maybe sinister. I guess sinister is not the aspect. It's the type of node that it is. And so, ow! What the heck? What did I just get zapped by? Oh, I got zapped by one of the... Oh, you guys. I hate you. Go away. Yeah, get wrecked. Give me those give me those aspects that you got. Thank you. Thank you so much. I guess that's one way to get a hold of different aspects. That's I mean, that's fine. Um I've already looted those chests, I believe, but just to be sure. Yeah. And yep. Yeah. Okie dokie. So that has a sinister sinister note in it. And let me just okay. Let me just get, double check. Alright. Uh Oh, wait a minute. Oh, 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 maybe I am drawing it out because it's, um, when I right click, it's actually, and this is the part that's covered up by my webcam. Uh, this is the GUI, but it basically, it has a bunch of like vials looking things out, uh, emanating from a circular thing. And when I, when I right click on this, it fills up some of those vials. So I assume I'm actually charging those. Okay. So yeah, I think I am doing it right. Um, I just got scared because it went up instead of down and I figured if you're draining something out of uh okay no I am actually draining it here I just wasn't draining it at the other one hmm okay so I mean that was correct I was just I'm confused how the other one is working then how about over here do we have another no we do straight down there can I scan it I don't think I can scan it unless I have direct access to it I'm probably going to destroy it again inadvertently if I do that. Hmm. Okay. Well, we can come back to that. But uh, I guess that that node over by the other place is, uh, well, it's up to node good. <laughs> I made a pun. <laughs> well, anyway, so we got our ordo, which means that maybe I can um, go and 
put together the the thing that we wanted to put together, which was the the thing. Sperry, stop growing up. He's grown up so much. He has grown up so much. It's getting ridiculous. It really is. All right, you're gonna need to stop doing that, my man. Okay, diamond. If you do not mind, please stop growing up. It's just getting it's getting crazy. All right, you can just chill in next to the uh, the infinity water source. There you go. Inside of the uh, why are you tapping me out? Um, inside of the slab. Cool. Okay, so that's good. And now with our silver wood, all we need to do is boom and boom. We need the ordo and we need the ignis, which so we can just throw in some coal and silver wood, which has one. So we need five of you. All right, so let's throw five of you. Oh, we also need our coal because the uh, the aspects will go away if we don't do this quick enough. So, boom. Uh, one sec. Let me grab Wi-Fi. Coal. I can type. Then boom, boom, boom. That should be fine. Okay. And then what was the last thing we need? We have that and we have this. So we can set this up, I believe, in here and have it pre-done. Cool. All right. And then we just toss in what we need and that will make the... I'm hoping this works. <laughs> Really, really hope because this is how it worked um, back when I first did it. So we're about to find out. Um, all right, throw all that in, and then throw this in, and then boom. And hey, it's good. Throw that in. Insufficient viz. Five point five. What? How is that insufficient? I have what I need. Insufficient. Insuff five and five. What? It's being rude. Do I need, okay, I can throw, I'll just throw in a little bit more. Just throw in a little bit more. You're being picky. Oh, come on. Crunch time, crunch time. Uh, let's just do this and do not dissipate on me. Do not dissipate on me, okay. Oh, is it insufficient? Oh, my wand has insufficient viz. That's what it is. Stupid wand. I need a better wand. Oh, man. Uh, well. Always. Oh no, now this stuff is gonna overflow all over the place. Oh dear, this is gonna be bad. This is gonna be real bad. This is gonna create a bit of a mess. Well, mistakes were made. I didn't realize my wand would be bad and this is going to just dump all over the place. Good, mm, sludge, tainted sludge stuff all over just what I needed. So, all right, well, I, I guess. I guess that means that we have to look into another wand before we let's get rid of that stuff. Okay. I need to do this in like a fume hood, but I don't want this to go all the way out to the air. I don't know. Anyway, okay. So we need to do a little bit more stuff um, before we're able to do that apparently, which is a bummer because I just wasted some silver wood, but there are plenty of trees nearby and I have plenty of coal. So. Anyway, I guess uh, I guess I might call this episode here, but hopefully you've enjoyed. If you have a rating, would be much appreciated. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.